CrimeView Dashboard's predictive missions capability uh, lets you step beyond the measures and maps that you use to set priorities and define action to achieve outcomes in your command process and actually automate those priorities and ensure that what's expected in the field, what's known about, and what's able to be predicted out of your crime patterns come together into the day-to-day -day work on a shift-by-shift -shift basis for your field operations. In this instance, we're looking at a pattern of uh, burglaries and motor vehicle thefts, uh, obviously a big driver of uh, crime data in the community. It's one thing to look at it as uh, those points on the map, and obviously we can interact with those, but uh, also seeing them as a hot spot really starts to bring some clarity to uh, what's actually occurring out in the community in terms of where it's concentrated. Predictive missions allows for, in this instance, uh, these kinds of crimes to be set as a priority, and a predictive routine run and you can see where with a little bit of confidence we get the hot spots between some kinds of crime and uh, an underlying predictive map layer. Now that map layer available through dashboard to uh, everybody that's using it and as a mission out to the field through our near me uh, mobile module uh, provides additional detail behind. In this instance we're looking at, uh, at one shifts deployment and what the risk of particular crime types are. We just saw that that was a hot spot for burglary and motor vehicle theft and sure enough uh, when we click on the map in that predictive mission in that area we do see that uh, burglary and motor vehicle theft are at the uh, top of the stack. Obviously if we're looking at that if we're from this city happens to be Greensboro, North Carolina uh, we would know the lay of the land but uh, let's take a quick look and we see that those uh, predictive mission areas are completely uh, within one patrol boundary uh, whereas nearby and we can see where things start to line up and overlap uh, on the edges or or maybe shared across patrol boundaries so that notion that in uh, dashboard our predictive missions can be managed in playbooks that allow you to tie together again from a command process priorities that may be exclusively uh, within one commands area uh, or may involve strategies and and leveraging uh, intelligence-led uh, or problem-focused problem-solving efforts across command areas uh, can be aligned. Uh, just a quick look into these uh, predictive missions again. We achieve these uh, particular predictive missions through our relationship with uh, Hunch Lab. So you're seeing the end result of the best evidence-based policing models uh, that are out there. Uh, it's really a model of models You'll recognize uh, risk terrain modeling out of Rutgers, uh, near repeat capabilities uh, from the folks at Temple. Uh, you'll see an heuristic signature in the model of models, uh, as well as a collective efficacy uh, and kernel density estimation hotspotting uh, components to the model. So what looks like some squares on the map, some statistics, uh, some information to inform uh, your field operations folks during their shift, uh, as to where to focus and, and what to focus on. Those strategies behind uh, what they do when they're in the field are really directly tied back to the evidence-based policing that informs uh, the overall model that runs in the predictive missions. Again, this is a way of automating those priorities that you set uh, and capturing and running in an automated way uh, the command process to ensure that the field is informed as to where to focus, what to focus on, uh, and when they're there, you know, really being able to leverage a predictive approach right on top of all the other analytics and operational capabilities uh, inherent in the dashboard. This is CrimeView Dashboard's predictive missions module.